Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It's oh, super kick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Third. Let's go. Super kick party. Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you got to get the coffins. <laughs> Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Wednesday night to one and all here as we are getting ready for our AEW Dynamite Sidecast once again. Always a pleasure having all of you here. And I don't know why I got a southern accent all of a sudden, but, you know, things happen. But, you know, uh, great to see everybody here today. Uh, we're going to have a jam-packed show. Hey, Vic, good to see you uh, here. I uh, hope... We got enough to talk about to last us about 16 years right now. You know it's the week of an AEW... Hey, Jay Quick, good to see you here. You know it's the week of an AEW pay-per-view when there's so much freaking drama coming up. Like, uh, well, first of all, quick programming note, just so you know, after we're done Dynamite tonight, we're doing two episodes of my GM here tonight, so we're going to be recording both weeks 18 and 19, uh, as the plan is right now, I'm supposed to be going to SmackDown. I still haven't got my ticket yet because I'm cheap and, well, finances are finances. So if I'm here on Friday, you know why. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. EO beat Liar on Speed. Well, that was probably expected. I'm assuming they're probably going to give EO something big going into... Uh, as much as you want to consider speed uh, a big thing. Yeah. But the drama today. Jesus. Kevin Kelly and the boys are suing AEW. That's on the one side right now, which these uh these lovely uh accusations of misconduct. I, I saw this one tweet that was absolutely perfect for it. Um if they want to prove Kevin Kelly to be the reason why they got rid of him, give him a list of all the foreign wrestlers that have worked AEW in the time that he was working Collision. <laughs> and yeah, that, that would pretty much fix that up. Um, the boys, they're claiming... The boys were dumb enough to actually put texts online of them intentionally skipping flights to get to uh, shows, and now they're uh, suing for improper treatment. <sighs> I, I love it how JR responded to all this. He's just simply, yeah, no, we're, you guys are idiots. And to Tony Khan has a ton of money here, so he's not going to have to worry about it. And then, of course, I'll, I'll get to the uh, Maple Leaf Pro here in just a second, Jay Quick, but... Also on the docket for this week, you know, WWE can't be that innocent. In response, well, the lawsuit just sealed Kevin Kelly's fate with any company. Yeah, like, I don't think Kevin Kelly was, Kevin Kelly's suing because he said he can't get work anywhere. I think his time on collision proved that he is going to get a work anywhere. Because he's hard to work with and he doesn't do a very good job, like, I'm sorry, but uh, I know I'm not the best color commentator in the world, and you can check out our wrestling YouTube channel to get proof of that. But at least I'll put a damn effort in. It almost felt like he didn't all the time. But the other thing that came down today was a quick little interview with the owner of RevPro, uh, the, the English promotion that's famous for, well, Michael Oku is there right now with Amira. You also had... Uh, Will Ospreay was there frequently. A lot of your favorite European promotions. They they were actually offered a chance to work with WWE as a partner. However, it appears that any of these partner agreements have one little option in there of uh, option to buy for WWE. To buy the whole promotion. Um, yeah, nah. The, the owner of Rev Pro said, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. We don't, 
we're not you, what you guys could do is just buy us fire all of us and just move on so he said to hell with that idea so that's why rev pro doesn't work with wwe and this is why we might be having some trouble come up here for uh for tna in the future because if the same like we don't know if the deal is the same between the two but if the deal is the same between the two companies yeah, TNA might finally be the cockroach that gets stepped on. Because that company's lasted, what, 20 years now? Without any issues? So almost, almost heading towards 25. But it makes me really wonder if they're going to hit 25 at this point. But that's something to speculate on. But And while well, Hogan said a lot of things there, he said that so many people forgive Benoit, so they should forgive him for all the stuff he did. And I'm a Benoit fan. I have never been afraid to say it. I just don't advertise. I'm 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 one of those guys that separates the both. Okay. I know what he did was absolutely tremendous, horrendous, Tur horrendous as a terror, terror horrendous, terrible horrendous. I tried to make a new word there. But the in-ring work, like, the in-ring work was the in-ring work. But at the same time, I can understand why people don't forgive him. And I don't think many people should. For what he did outside the ring is unforgivable. Absolutely. What if he ran into that situation, he was still alive, do you think he'd ever work again? No. Granted, he'd probably be in jail for the rest of his life, but either way. But for Hogan to say that he... He had the he should be forgiven just like everybody forgiven Benoit. Nobody's forgiven Benoit. So in a way I'll agree with him cuz nobody should forgive Hogan. He walked to his own trap there. And just yeah, and saying he had creative control at WCW and never used it when Bischoff well I'll, I'll say point blank I think that Bischoff it's one of the few times where I think Bischoff's telling the truth. I, I still think Bischoff booked some crap, but it's all, not only did he book some crap, he also, uh, Hogan sort of vetoed a bunch of crap for more crap. But that's a whole different story for a whole different day here. We got, we got an interesting night of dynamite coming up here. See, Jay Quick, there's an evolution of that story too here tonight. Uh oh. Oh, he wants to fight tonight. Yeah, MJF ain't gonna do that. Well, what do we got tonight? All right, we got two women's matches on the card tonight. Sorry, I just got a copy of the. Uh, Of course, MGF's in a box. Well, we got a lot of contract signings to do tonight. We got Okada and Fletcher for the... Uh, oh. Oh, God. Really? Wow. I think I'm more of a hilarious part of this is the fact that there are no boxes in that 
theater. So they actually just have MJF sitting literally on top bottom of the stairs somewhere. Wow. Wow, these guys are throwing shots. I'm loving this. Huh. All right. I, I, I like where this is going, except it's going to go long here. Oh, God, we love you, Daniel Garcia. Impressed Garcia's hanging on the mic with it. I'm not. An MGF spot going along, you don't say. <laughs> it's only gone three minutes. It just feels like half an hour. There's a difference here, Zodiac. By the way, good to see you here tonight. Wow. Wow. So is he calling out Alicia at the same time here? Wait, Garcia, you don't look like Ricky Starks. <laughs> End it right here. Don't let MGF come back. Don't bring up Alicia Daniel, you get suspended. <laughs> Please let this. <laughs> that poor ugly ass baby. Well. True, he ain't wrong. Everybody used to think he was was uh, their scumbag, right? I'm. I got a microphone. And they'll turn on you too. Oh God, fickle bastards. I guess there is could probably gonna be a little bit of toning up of the language here. Oh God. I don't even hear the crowd when he's trying to tell the crowd to shut up.
Come on, spit it out, MJF. There we go. Now the crowd's into it. Kata, we need you to cut the mic. Eh? Oh, God, here we go. No, 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 please, no. Really? Thank you. This is how this is going to end. This is great. Simon's crime cop is going to be out of control. Absolutely. Garcia being dragged out. Oh, security's dead. Here comes here comes Garcia. He missed the he missed the turn. I hope that was a fan, not a security. I hope that was a fan. That way we get some suit. Hey, KJ. Oh God. Man, MGF just looking like the Bills' uh, defensive line there when a running back's coming through on Sunday. <laughs> and to those who have uh, entered into the school system this week, what? Congratulations and my condolences. Oh. And Garcia's bleeding again. Blood right in the eye. All right. Oh, blood on the lips. Ugh. Wow, okay. That's a bit of a statement. Now Garcia's just starting to wake up. The guys, hello, a little medical attention here. Ah, now we go to Mark Briscoe. Chicago street fight. Time for a dictionary? No, Briscoe's got the dictionary. Oh, here we go. We saw this whole segment on Saturday.
My God, the look on Kyle O'Reilly's face. So we're opening up with, uh, we're opening up with the Continental C Cup match here. This is going to be fun. Except, you know, Fletcher's losing again. As Okada almost does a face dive into the ground. And yes, Briscoe does know how to use a phone. He he owns a chicken farm. He's got to sell his chickens, right? You got to be able to use the phone if you're able to sell some chickens, right? Not everybody's KFC. <laughs> and Renee asked about the hubby. I got a feeling that he'll show up at the start of the second hour. Or they might not even have uh, Shafir and uh, Moxley on tonight. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Note to self, no block tonight. There you go. There's the front of the arm. There's the back of the arm. Yeah, that was funny. So they're going to have a contenders challenge on Friday on... Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I would say poor Fletcher to a point, except for the fact that... Plus, if I, he's getting all these matches. That's a thing. Like, it's one thing to say, yes, you're losing, but when the promoter has enough faith in you to put you into these matches. What shirt is Don wearing tonight? Fletch is going to get his somewhere. I don't think any of the elite lose their titles until Omega comes back. So that's going to hold up a lot of this right now. It might take a while, but he'll get it. Yeah, like, he is the next generation. There's guys like him. There's guys like Garcia. There's, there's, there's so many wrestlers you can count on and being a next, next generation of AEW stars. Like when Jericho retires in 40 years, that kind of deal. Ugh. Sorry, I almost sighed when I, th when I even said that to myself here. But yeah, um, I, I wa just want to back it up here to one thought as we get started this match up here. Hey, Don, go get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, well, I think Don will be just fine with tomorrow. Those two will gel so well. And if they don't, you know, Demore's smart enough to switch out something, right? Like, we're two and a half weeks away from that huge show, so. Or no, we're a month and a half. Sorry, it's October, not September. I'm just so used to having so many events running in a row here. Because what, this is this Saturday is going to be three three shows in uh, three weeks. Three shows in three weeks. Plus all the indie shows that have been going on, plus TNA. Like, Okada's not hiding from anybody. That's the thing here. But uh, getting back to a point you made earlier here about Giselle Shaw asking for her release and being granted, well, there was another story that just came out about that. Not sure if it's actually true or not. Because, you know, SRS, if it ain't SRS, it ain't confirmed as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we will hear from Moxley later. Okay. Um... But apparently, there was somebody that brought up that Trey Miguel was complaining that Giselle was transgender so that they got rid of her. I call bullshit, personally. 
And I have worked with uh, Giselle Shaw here in Alberta. This is where she started. Uh, she started down the Storm Wrestling Academy in Calgary. Worked a lot of RCW and uh, PWA here in, in Alberta in her opening time. As well as uh, some promotions in Saskatchewan and whatnot. And one of those that I've absolutely had no problems with whatsoever working. And hell, one of our most... Uh, most well-known uh, matches on the channel involves Giselle Shaw. So once again, check out the YouTube channel if you want to check out the matches there. Ed, good to see you here tonight. Hope everything's going well. Uh, hell of an NXT show last night from what I read. I'll be honest, NXT I've been cutting back on because we can't even get it on regular TV anymore. Uh, they've decided that... Uh, UFC's Contender Series takes precedence. So now uh, NXT in Canada is tape delayed till 11 o'clock Eastern. So they did all the segments. I, I saw the one with Chelsea there. I saw Julia get kneed by Chelsea. And to fuck with the camera angles, I really could care less. They're, they're telling a story here. If they can protect each other. That's fine. Like a, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about here, there, the camera angle that was shown, for the most part, was showing clearly Julia missing Chelsea with uh, with a high knee to the face of uh, Chelsea and Chelsea selling it. I I believe the uh, well, and of course you know the internet just you know, oh this is what wrestling is, blah blah blah, like fuck off. Seriously, I'm in a feisty mood today. What can I say? A little bitterness, a little bit of anger. You know, that's what happens when you get a week off, right? Like my next day back to work is next Monday. So yeah, I'm, I guess you could say I'm a little bit full of piss and vinegar when I'm usually only full of one of those in, on a, uh, on a typical Wednesday here. So you figure out whichever one you think I'm full of. So we'll go with that. But, uh, yeah, no, a V-trigger sort of the same thing from Kenny Omega, right? You, They just hit it in a way that's, you know, a little more conducive to the camera. You're going back as your head, as your head, okay. Well, it's a little weird. We're doing, uh, hey, Andre, good to see you here tonight. Hey, everybody's filing in tonight. Good to see you here, governor. Uh, so one quick thing I am going to need your guys' help on, and we're going to wait till the 7 o'clock hour so everybody gets a chance to pop in here. Uh, at the start of the second hour of Dynamite tonight, 7 o'clock, I'm going to put a poll up. It's going to help me out with the poll that I've had on X here for the last three days. I need you guys to... Oh, you're here for Okada and Fletch? Well, of course you are. I kind of figured as much that United Empire rides again eventually. But uh, I'm going to need you guys to help me pick which game I'm playing tomorrow for our uh, Welcome Back to the NFL stream. Right now, uh, NFL Blitz 2002 has the lead, but uh, let's just say the people in the chat here, they vote, they're vote they a little more... Let's just say the votes in here count a little bit more, if you know what I mean. People that actually show up for the Twitch streams, they get the priority about what we get to pick here, so... Uh, we will have four games lined up. I, I do have four different football associated games here. Uh, some classics, some on the Xbox one, one, one new one on steam. So, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on here, but this match here with Okada and Fletcher, like if you turned around and showed used up your Madden 25 time there. If you get on the Epic game store, Vic, uh, there is a really fun game there that, that you're able to pick up. It's called wild card football. I do believe it's still free right now. Basically it is, uh, it's backyard football, but you get to use like little card power ups for it. So, uh, it is going to be a vote between four football games, Andre. It is, uh, 
NFL Blitz, NFL Street, uh, Mutant League Football, or um, or Wild Card Football, as I was mentioning. Yeah, it's uh, go take a look at the Epic Store. I do believe like your free games for the week. I believe Wild Card. Just look up Wild Card Football. It's either on there. Or the Steam store, one of the... I think it's the Epic store that's giving it away for free. Still vote for the new college football game? I have my EA time for it. I'm just... I've learned from MLB that if you're not willing to grind those simulation games, it's not worth really getting into them a whole lot. Like right now, I'm not going to waste my time with NBA 2K25. Last year we were on 2K24. We did the uh, one season of uh, uh, creator mode for the women's. I was a member of the New York Liberty. But uh, yeah, I'd, if, if I'm not going to be able to dedicate a whole lot of time to it. I don't want to waste. I can't waste my money right now. It's not that I don't want to. It's just I plain old can't. So, who do you think should beat Okada for the uh, Continental title? Said the same for NBA. It's too expensive to get committed. Used, used to spend a fortune every year. Yeah, like... Like right now, everything's 100 bucks, right? Osprey should beat him for it. Kyle, well... You're thinking Fletcher should win tonight. I don't think he does. But I also think Kyle Fletcher is a reason one big thing happened in AEW this week. If you haven't noticed, if you go to the AEW roster page, they have officially taken the rankings down and also the records. That Raymaker fuck you so good, yeah. I love that little thing. Like, it's a little subtle details, right? It proves that he's a heel, proves he's a face, proves what his gimmick is. But yeah, the roster page has deleted all the... Uh, They've deleted all the records off the off the de descriptions of each wrestler. And I think that's a very important thing to do in this case, because realistically, if you look at Fletcher's record, there is no reason in the world that he should be getting matches like this. Let's face it, anybody that has two eyes and has watched Kyle Fletcher work, know he's worth this match, but... My God, the sell on that DDT... Almost did the Rob Van Dam there. That was sick. Not only was it sick, but it was a hell of a sell there. So what's he going to do on the apron here? That Rango caught his bell, yeah. Are we going to do a tombstone? Oh, come on. Oh, even better. Jesus. Don't we just love some rest? Absolutely. So much fun tonight. Like, And, and here's the funny thing with AEW lately. I, I think it's going to change after all out. But the fact we got, what, an hour's notice on most of the matches on the card? And tonight, we are getting two women's matches on this card. We're getting uh, Jamie Hayter taking on Robin Renegade. And then as well, for the AEW Women's Championship, we are getting Nyla Rose taking on uh, the champion Mariah May. So, everybody gets a little taste of Mariah. Everybody gets a little bit of Jamie. We got the uh, Hangman contract signing, yes. We got uh, Hikaru Shida and um, Mercedes Monet chatting tonight. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, is that the movie? Because I know uh, the Ghostbusters game, if you have a Switch, it's on sale right now. The latest Ghostbusters game, not the uh, Super Nintendo one that's horrible. 
Oh, okay. Ghostbuster. Okay, Ghostbuster four. I'll, I'll be honest. Due to my medical conditions, I don't watch many scary movies. And let's face it, Ghostbusters as weak as the some of the horror is, it still classifies as a horror game in many ways. So. Andre providing the commentary we all need. Well, certain facts need to be let out here. Um, you want to talk about things that are exciting for me? On the same flipping day, we are getting. We are getting. The Marvel vs. Capcom collection, which, by the way, next Thursday... I remember I was, we were trying to figure out what we're going to do for Thursdays. Next Thursday, they dropped the Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom collection. That's what we're going to be playing next Thursday. And then Thursday night, oh, a little movie called Transformers 1 comes out. And if you guys didn't know, that is my absolute number one, absolute great, perfect uh, TV show as a kid. Like, that's the series I love the most. I, I probably loved the most as a kid was the Transformers. So much that I actually wrote the radio station or the TV station when the show got canceled, let alone not knowing that they actually canceled the entire thing across the world, not just locally. This weekend is uh, B squared. I was going to use two initials there in a square, but that I know where this chat would go with it. You guys be going straight from the from the gutter right into the ditch and then right off a cliff. Ugh. But uh So what's Okada got on now? Is it like a Oh he's got the million dollar dream? Ted DiBiase be so proud right now. The money man has the million dollar dream on Kyle Fletcher. The money clip, okay. Sorry, that that's one thing I didn't know, and I don't think the commentary team knew it either. The ringmaster will sue. I think he's pretty safe for that, so. Oh, so they're doing a four-way at the... Uh, so it doesn't matter who wins here anyway. Lance Archer, Mark Briscoe, let's go. Takeshita, oh my God, we're going to get... We're going to get Takeshita and Okada in the same ring together for an elongated period of time, folks. Let, they're not going to give... As much as I love Martos... He's there to eat a pin off Takeshita. I would assume that, right? 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 Takeshita better not lose that. Archer and Briscoe, we could go either way on that. Yeah, Takeshita wins for sure, yeah. And then... uh. You're going to spend... I'm, right now, I haven't bought the ticket. I do plan on being there. I've just been procrastinating and just looking at my budget. I love that we're watching AEW. So wait, what are they doing with Ricochet? Um, he was on last week. He took on Kyle Fletcher in his debut. Go to smack well like i said i got a i want to make sure i got a cheap cheap ticket aw's taught me to wait to the last minute to get a ticket i'll end up going probably well i'm canceling friday's stream for collision because of it so yeah i better go i might be just so you know i might be on during the day on uh on friday so yeah we were talking about that just before you popped in here andre like 
Fletcher is the future. We like we don't know when he's gonna get like he's gonna break that ceiling. That artificial booking ceiling that they have. Say hi to Bailey. Who knows if she's even going to make it there? Oh, I love this. Reverse leg, Larry. Now, I, it'll be fun to hang out and watch the, watch the show. Oh, backslide out of nowhere. Into the Rainmaker. I love that pose, yeah. Well, I guess it was just a trap clothesline, but he's going to go for the real Rainmaker now. Missed. Oh, my God. Okada didn't even think twice. He just quickly snapped into the... I guess it's a normal for him. Broke again? Reversal, reversal, reversal? No way! He didn't have completely secure, but Okada did a very smart thing there. Swung his body over to the side so he knew he wasn't going to get spiked on his head. That was beautiful! It's little segments like that that just tease you to know that Kyle Fletcher has that ability to become a serious Hall of Famer. Well, at least a top star. I don't want to say Hall of Famer because that's arbitrary for everybody. Now, realistically, it's supposed to be a no interference finish, but with the Elite, I will not count anything for that. Let's go in the full... Oh, that's an interesting way to do it. That is an interesting way to do it. Yeah, I'm with you, Andre. That it's another loss, but hell. So Okada's got three other opponents to deal with. And Takesh is coming in to check on... Oh, 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 just seeing these two right now. Just seeing these two right now, it's like... We get this on Saturday. We get this on Saturday. We're going to get this on Saturday. Feel like Kyle's gonna somehow make it a make it a five way? No. I think there's gonna be a transition here sooner than later. They gotta find a way to get Kyle out of this group. Fletcher looks absolutely. Fletcher looked amazing tonight. Like once again. SRS reported powerhouse house back stay. All right. This is such a freaking great story. We need Mark David. Yeah, like, I want to see the United Empire back just for Andre. I don't know if you guys saw the news here on uh, the old X machine earlier today. So, we're taking a bet. We're. Do you guys think Hangman comes out and burns this, burns his house to the ground? During the main of during the contract signing, love my Japanese UE, but we need a North American UE. Absolutely. Could you see Hobbs as part of that? What house? Eh. Your house, aid. No, Swerve's house. Damn it.
so yeah, this is Swerve's original house that he grew up in. I can almost see Hangman come in and uh, burn it to the ground. Swerve's a nice... Well, Swerve could be a nice guy, but... AEW's Osprey's house. Eh, I'm going to give you... Give you a gold coin for that as we head to our commercial break here. And just so we don't fall behind here, I'm going to throw a little ad up for... Just so we can keep up on stuff here. I, I love them. I uh, I got a little stream deck. All I have to do is turn a knob for how long, how long a break I want and just push a button. If I do these now, that means we sort of get to avoid them during the important parts of the show. So but once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. Truly appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I just want to quickly get back to the, uh, Giselle Shaw controversy right now that there's start starting to be reports that are fluttering out there that, uh, Trey Miguel was complaining about, uh, Giselle being transgender and that's what led to the, uh, release slash firing, whatever. First of all, I call BS. Number two. It's 2024, guys. I'm sorry. That's a little. <sighs> People are afraid of stuff they don't know about. I think I think that's the best way to sum it up with a lot of this stuff. And if you don't know, you try to complain, you try to keep the status quo. I think we've seen that with a lot of things in this world. Don't be afraid to be great. Don't be afraid of other things. Don't be afraid to, you know, be able to take that next level as expected here so and i think giselle is mainly going to be focusing on the maple leaf pro because i believe uh, giselle is with scott demore right now in a personal sense so i i would assume that uh i, w I would assume that giselle's probably going to be bit helping out with maple leaf pro as much as she can at this point and if she's asking for a release, there may there's many different reasons why they'd be wanting to do that. So, a lot of people don't like the way that things are going with uh, the WWE thing going on right now. To which their own. A lot of people want to be a part of it. To which their own. It goes back to one of the most important things that I've heard said, talked about as we've been going through this here. Wrestling these days. There is so many different types, so many different kinds, so many different options that if you don't find wrestling that you enjoy, that's on you. That's not on wrestling. That's on you. Because with you, you just need to learn to dig a little bit more. But with that being said, I do appreciate everybody here tonight for watching a little AEW because I think we all enjoy that. <laughs> Jamie is so ready to go. She seems so much more relaxed today. I get I guess with the fact that she's gotten her first match out of the way, it's probably a lot easier on her. She can't even get her full entrance out. So I'm guessing that we're probably going to get a Soraya Jamie Hayter match on Saturday. Jesus. Robin, Robin, Robin. I am so... Maybe it's just me, but does Harley look like the wrestler and Soraya just looks like a fan at ringside? Maybe it's just me in that pair, but I digress. Oh my God, Robin got a move in. Well, half a move. Half a move because you it, it doesn't count until she's on her back. Uh oh. 
Yeah, I better put that in there. Soraya's on TV. Hold on, let me turn it off. Give it give it 30 seconds. She's back off. She's back off TV. It's fine. So they're actually doing uh, a ramp a collision then rampage. So this could be interesting on Friday. I haven't heard anything about what's going on with uh, SmackDown on Friday. Which I'm really surprised about because usually they try to overload the, the nights they're going head to head. Well, Robin got three moves in. Oh, Jesus. Hater took about, you know, three seconds to fix that problem. All right, finish this off. There you go. Oh, Irish Curse Backbreaker. Let's go for three. I just hope this feud with Saray and Harley gets done real quick. Jesus, criminy. The fall through with that lariat, seriously. Like, I know JBL's back in wrestling, which I really don't know what to think of that, to be perfectly frank with you. Man, that arm is getting so much love there. Now, it's, it's going to be nice to see what uh, what program Jamie actually gets involved in as we uh, as we move on here. Because I think we got the announcement. We got the holdover. Let's face it. This pay-per-view coming up on Saturday. Oh, hi, Jamie. Oh, bye, Jamie. That's pretty much where it is right now. So now we're getting Roderick Strong and Hook, which I'll tell you this. It is about 16 times. Jesus. Grand Slam, that's where they should have it. Hooks from Red Hook, right? So it only makes sense to put that match at Grand Slam along with Danielson and... Uh, what is it? Danielson and Darby. We got Christian who could cash in any time as well. I still find it funny that they got the trios match as the main event. That signing, uh, that signing is going to be very interesting for Saturday here. New pictures of Copeland with a... Yeah. Oh, here comes Shafir. Man. Shafir looks like uh, female Lance Archer the way she's going through people at ringside. All right. 
right, well, it looks like we're going to be getting Moxley uh, ringside here. Yeah, I knew pictures of Copa. Well, the interesting thing for me, and chat, I want to know what you think. What about, what about, we got this thing with Shafir and, and Moxley, right? They're trying to get the old, uh, you know, deathmatch group put, put together here. What if uh, Beth shows up with uh, Adam at the same time? Could we have that mixed tag to go up against Shafir and Moxley, which... Let's face it, they got to work they got some work to do to make Shafir a lot more reputable than what she is right now to take on somebody like I'm assuming Beth Copeland would be the way she would go with her name cuz she can't go with Beth Phoenix anymore. Oh and uh I want to see if anybody interrupts Mox. I doubt it. But the fact this is going to be coming up at the top of the hour almost, I got a feeling there might be an introduction. Oh, yeah, the, the Lich's contract, she's already made it known. She's, it's done and she's gone already. That was, uh, she was removed from the uh, powerhouse. That might be, that, that makes sense with everything you said there, Jay Quick. But they've also said Adam Cole has been backstage for numerous weeks already. So I take that with about 15 pounds of salt. Uh, yeah. Um, there's a few wrestlers that have been removed from the uh, from the main roster of over at WWE. Obviously, the Odyssey Jones uh, situation, which... I'm sorry if you're a cause of domestic abuse, get fucked. <laughs> sorry, I'm in the word for cursing today. I apologize. But some of this stuff is so goddamn stupid. Like, literally, if you're going to cause domestic abuse, get fucked. <laughs> and in that case, I hope you get, get wrecked by a couple broomsticks in prison. But I digress. Um... Yeah, a couple others. They moved uh, Trish Stratus to the alumni page from the uh, active roster. And also, uh, Beth Phoenix has been removed outright from the, uh, from the roster page. They don't put you on the alumni section unless you have a Legends contract available, so... So Moxley's gone with the new. This is a new Titan tr or a new uh, Jumbotron entrance all the time here now. The crowd just loves them. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. I I hope they bring somebody else in. And I want to see if he actually gets this crowd to actually hate him. Because that's the, that's the interesting part about this whole thing. Do they... Is... Uh, are they supposed to be faces? Are they supposed to be heels? Are they uh, something we don't care either way? Because I don't think of Marina Shafir as a hate, as a face in anything she's ever done. He said he was looking for Darby this week. That's what he said last week. He was looking for Darby this week. So maybe we get Darby to come out here.
Uh, Mox, if you're looking for Claudio, he's in the back. Uh, honestly, If you think you get Shafir over, you get a damn raise. Damn right. Moxley's words have actually helped me a lot in my career, too, so I'll get to that in a sec here. That's it? And right back through the crowd to leave. And Shafir's good looking at that camera like, what did you just touch me with? I got a feeling he's got a deathmatch team he's trying to set up here. For me, that just seems, it just seems most, most prevalent, right? What the hell is that? Just throwing it out early. I feel it's going to be Darby and Mox next. I'll get to that in a sec, Vic, here. Ah, I remember that. Ortiz having a swim. Can you hook a left and hit Jericho? I don't think he'll do that. That face on Jericho is amazing right now. Isn't it supposed to be the other way around normally there? Um, I think, I think Mox is going to call out Darby because Darby uh, has that title shot against Danielson in two weeks, right? Or sorry, three... Three weeks. 
whenever Grand Slam is the 25th, I'm supposed to count the number of days for my birthday, aren't I? But I don't, I just don't right now. And of course, now most men can think for the next 20 minutes. Actually, correct myself. Most men and uh, women that go that way and even half of them that don't. Watch out for Nigel, folks. Flying Nigel's coming out. Oh, what? Exactly. Duh, what's going on here? All right, let me... Uh, let me set up this poll here because I've been... been I, I do find it funny that we do have uh, we have Nyla Rose as the first opponent for a face champion. Again, this is this seems to be a rather constant. If it isn't Anna J, it's Nyla Rose, depending whether you're a heel or a face. But yeah, so. And So I'm going to put this up for about 10 minutes here. Poll is up, folks. Uh, if you guys could just give me a hand in picking what I should be playing tomorrow. Nigel is my spirit animal. Yeah, well, I, I like the fact that on Collision on Saturday, they took five minutes to acknowledge Nigel as part of the uh, all, all in Gauntlet Battle Royal. Or a gauntlet match. But then they got back to their normal characters and just went, right? So we know Tony Storm is not here. She's out promoting uh, Grand Slam uh, Brisbane or... And now there's just, nope, we're gonna... Why are you slapping? I like Mariah Zitter posted the hat. Yeah, I can just imagine. Now, I have a, uh, with all due respect, I stayed off my phone for the most part today, outside of a bunch of reposts for a bunch of stuff. I do like the fact that Mariah is getting somebody different to work. Here. Oh. I think that was supposed to be a kick in the head, but it ended up being the knee. I love a good cross body. Her hat said, who ate the pussy? I just find it amazing that uh, WBD is the one that stopped them from doing the, uh, the kissing moments on... Uh, between her and Mina and Tony and all that. It was actually WBD that cut those out. So I know, I know you guys in the chat, I'll just throw it in here right now. I know you want those, so I'll let you get them out. No, Rose ain't gonna get 
Mariah just doesn't look like she'd fit properly on the top rope, draping over there for that knee shot that she does. I, I do like the fact that, you know, all kidding aside with all the jokes and that about her, about her gimmick and whatnot, Mariah's getting an opportunity to show off a little bit more than uh, than what she did before. Like, we all knew she had the wrestling ability. She came from stardom. Like, you don't come out of stardom and be a star there without knowing how to wrestle very well. But the fact that she hasn't been able to do that, right? Oh, she can show off more, huh? What? I'll just give this to you. Of, you know. you're, you're digging for that one, Jay Quick. I'll, I'll give you that one. But no, just... The, the fact that she has the skills that pay the bills. And I got a feeling she's going to be going for a very long tour of as champion. Because frankly, if you're going into your next generation of stars... Wouldn't Mariah may be a great example of what you want as a women's champion? Like somebody you could put in the ring with anybody. She's got the mic skills. She's got the... She's somebody if you're turning on the TV, you're going to stop and watch. And that's another reason why this match is put at the top of the hour. Because people will turn around and as they're channel surfing, yes, people still do that these days. Uh, as they're turning around, they're they're actually going to uh, they're actually going to stop it. Hey, who's that? And then they see that she can wrestle, and it just adds to that much more, right? As they got the traditional fa front face lock down, so. The fact that she has to use the front face lock means she would be no good on speed. Once again, congratulations to EO Sky for defeating Lyra Valkyria on uh, this week's episode of Speed. AKA, what can you do with double the time the WWE will give you? But, uh... <laughs> This match is over the speed limit. I promise I'm going to get more sounds together here, but now that I'm off this week and maybe actually have a few hours to work on stuff like this. But Ny Nyla definitely doing a good job here being the first opponent, right? I think we can all agree with that, that Nyla's been used as a... E even though she is the stereotypical first opponent, she actually usually does a pretty good job of it. So is your hour starting at... 4.30 I would I'm probably going to say that we're going to start about 5 o'clock because I think they're going to want to talk more about the matches for the first half hour and then bring in the bring in the wrestling so as of right now I don't have an extra guest booked for the show so it's just going to be me on Saturday but I'm sure you guys aren't going to be totally disappointed but the one good thing is we do have the open door policy here it will be open on saturday so if anybody wants to pop in the door will be available and door, the the forbidden door will be available to pop in on so But yeah, I think the only, I think the only other match we got tonight is the uh, the six man for the men. If I do remember right, so 
realistically, this should be getting... Uh, Yeah, contract signing. The only two things left to uh, be listed are the contract signing and the uh, and the six person main event. So Whoa. Mariah looked like she was coming out for a move and Nyla just said nope. And this crowd's trying to get behind Nyla too, which I'm actually very impressed about. Oh, something just moved. And I'm not talking about you, Jay Quick. All right, well, that was uh, World's Strongest Slam. Uh oh, Mark Henry's going to be pissed. Mark Henry's going to be pissed. So just a reminder, we got about a minute left here. If you are interested in voting in the poll for what we're going to be playing tomorrow. Right now, it looks like NFL Blitz will be the winner, but. That was interesting. That'll be a Kevin Kelly suit with Mark. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me these days. All right, votes are in. Poll is done. And uh, once again, thank you everybody for voting here. Um, between X and here, I do know that we did get a couple votes last week for, uh, for Mutant League, but the overwhelming majority says NFL Blitz 2002. So looks like we uh, have a winner. Is that going to be enough? Okay. And Mariah's busted open. Now, does she have another opponent come out? That is a hell of a bruise on her head. Or maybe it's Mina. She loves to celebrate, huh? Here comes Mercedes. Diana? All right, well, okay, so Perrazzo's taking on Sheeta, who is taking on Mercedes on Saturday. 
That is a horrible picture of Sheeta there. Like, that looks a lot better there, the graphic between Mercedes and Sheeta. Like, I don't think we're going to get... I don't think we're going to get much for it in terms of a... Uh, a decent match between... Well, we'll get a decent match between the two, but I don't think we're going to get a title change. I realistically don't think we're going to get any title changes at all out. Just to keep things fresh, we should get one, but I don't think we're going to get anything. It's really interesting to see what kind of show... Like, we we have still, like, four or five matches that they still haven't announced for all out yet, so... It's going to be interesting to see what they piece together here for us because we're, we're not getting the trios titles because we're getting Osprey and uh, Pac, which I'm sorry, folks, that might be the match dealer of the night more than anything else. I got a weird feeling we're going to end up getting uh, GYV and sorry, FTR. I think that ver that could be a very big possibility here. Would love to see some rivalries in the story besides belts for the women. Got to build them. Perazzo and Sheeta can do a ton. Yeah, absolutely. Like, when it comes to the women's division, like, I think that's been the key difference between what AEW's been doing, what WWE's been doing with the women's division. If you look at the, uh, the storylines that have been starting... Like, even Statlander and Willow, their whole story began before Willow got the uh, CMLL title, right? Like, uh, Willow had the uh, TBS title. As soon as she lost the title, that's when the feud started between the two. So, I feel that AEW has created a lot of rivalries that didn't need titles. Well, hell, you can look at Deanna Perrazzo, Thunder Rosa, right? While the finishes each of those matches were a little confusing, it still drove along a storyline. Not saying a great storyline, but a storyline, and that's more than we could say on the other side here, but I digress. The violent match will be the cage, yeah. And uh, it appears that the cage match will be the main event, which I think is an absolute great call by Tony Khan if that is the case. Darby versus uh, Jack Perry is not going to be main event worthy. Or sorry, um, Brian Danielson versus Jack Perry will not be main event worthy, I don't think. If you put that on main, you put that title on Jack. But for a first title defense, easily this could be put into second. Put in that semi-main event spot, everybody goes on feeling good. The fact that uh, Danielson won, but he's still half injured. Oh, and here we go. Got to get the cash register out. Uh, anybody tell her that we're not going back to Japan for another six months yet? Or is that just to uh, put over Sheeta there? I love that they're getting a fat, getting a chance to use New Japan highlights here. Cornette is irrelevant. Let's give that guy all the fuck. Mercedes looks like a kidna from the bouncer. Somebody put CEO sucks on their phone. I love it.
She got one person to chant O oh, there at the end. She just already lost to her once. Like, that's the hard part about this. How can you call yourself the ace of this place if you haven't beaten this face? I can see Zodiac just fuming at the lack of alliteration here and the lack of rhyming. If you guys listen to the Retro Hangover podcast, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Is that it? I love the suit. No alliteration is great. I don't have to get lawyers. In <laughs> Free t-shirt marketing. Here we go. <laughs> that's only that's only double funny with the whole gimmick kind of dealing with Okada last week. That was hilarious. Oh, man. And, and if you dig a little deeper, it actually makes even more. It, it's more levels of funny, if you know. Like, I think Sheeta was, I don't know whether she is, but she was involved with Omega. So the Omega Okada lineup here with Monet and Sheeta, like, that's 16, le 16 levels of poof right there. Never give up!
Okay. So Matthew and Nicholas are basically going to turn this into a three-on-one match, isn't he? So now Danielson's going to sit on commentary during the main event match. So yeah, this makes sense. The BCC is still somewhat together with the exception of with the exception of Moxley apparently who is a remote member at best anyway. So <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so much fun. But as we get to our last commercial break here, once again, thanks everybody for being here. Going to give you a quick rundown of what's coming up. Um, after we're done here, probably going to be about a five minute break. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible because we're running two shows tonight. We're going to be doing two weeks of WWE 2K24 My GM mode. It's going to be two tapings of uh, My GM setting up for Survivor Series. So by the time we're done tonight, we are going to have the PLE set up for next Wednesday going to be a lot of fun we got uh some underdogs as champions uh we do have a cage match to finish things off i do believe tonight as well as i do believe we're gonna have argus have his first uh title defense as intercontinental champion against uh, carmelo hayes who was never involved in the fall there in the triple threat match uh, we'll see how that goes uh and then tomorrow, thanks to your voting, as well as the voting on X, uh, we'll be playing a little NFL Blitz 2002, bringing out the old Xbox once again. We're going to have some fun with that as we bring in the new NFL season. Slight chance I might be on Friday morning. I'll be honest, I probably doubt it, as we're going to get ready for SmackDown that night. So I will not be here for Collision on Friday. I know, I know. <laughs> But we'll talk about my experience at SmackDown on Saturday when we're here for All Out. So I will be here based on the fact that they're starting at uh, 4.30 instead of 4 my time. Uh, we're probably going to start about 7 Eastern. If I see matches come up, we're going, we're going live right away. But uh, yeah, we'll probably be looking at about 5, which gives us only about 5 hours of wrestling instead of you know 6 and 7 and whatever it is. Um, might throw in a stream Sunday night. Either we're going to do Sunday night or Monday night, one or the other the, next week. Um, might even do an MLB The Show stream here as you guys check out my Conquest. There's a huge map to take out right now that's basically going to finish off Team Affinity. For those that play MLB The Show, no. And then, uh... Next Wednesday, AEW Dynamite once again here, as well as the Survivor Series PLE on my GM. And then next Thursday, September 12th, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection is released. That will be our afternoon stream on, on Thursday, as long as Steam doesn't blow things up on me. But the best thing to do for you folks, two things. One, if you're not following me, just hit that follow button. Doesn't cost you a dime to uh, to check out all the times I go live. And if you really like what you see here, hit the subscribe button. Subscriptions for the rest of the month are 25 to 30% off. And then starting next Thursday, we got a bit deal going on. Uh, if you donate 300 bits, uh, Twitch throws in an extra 300 for the hell of it. And then the last week of the month, they have a gift sub deal, but we'll talk about that a little bit closer to the time as well. Twitch is trying to be helpful this year, and I'm really impressed by it. I know a lot of people shit on this format, but... Go ahead, Jay Quick, feel free. We're, you're always a good friend here, and... Did you... You get the job?
Got a promotion. You got a, you got a show to promote. There's a there's people in here that I trust to just to share notes like that. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Throw some emotes in the chat for Jay quick, guys. Just uh, he's been fighting to look for a job for a while here and. I know he, he's been looking forward to this for a while here, so. Orientation on Tuesday. Let's go. I love that Assassin's Creed jacket on uh, on Osprey here. Still wearing the same one. Love the emotes there, Ed. Appreciate it. I'm just happy when people get an opportunity to do, do great things, right? So. I thought he was going to... I honestly thought when he did that... Billy go balling. I love this. I love that sign. That really my stress. Hey, it, absolutely. It would. <laughs> Orange Cassie trying to do the, uh, the Osprey sign or the Assassin's Creed symbol. And he's like, nah, I can't get it. I will say this though about, uh, Orange Cassidy. Hell of a halo player. If you haven't watched him play on his streams, he actually, uh, back when AEW Games was still having their their Wednesday streams. They, uh, they, been, they were a lot of fun and the championship was held by Adam Cole and Orange Cassidy gave him the biggest run in the world when it comes to Halo, so... But that bump, yeah, that reverse Rana that Pac gave Osprey, like, yeah, like it, it just makes me salivate for what we're going to see here on uh, on Saturday, right? It's almost like Justin Roberts hates saying that word. I love how Claudio's like, should we talk to him? Nah. We'll, we'll just let those two handle their business and we'll take care of the rest. So our main event match tonight is this one. Our main event segment is going to be Swerve and, Swerve and Hangman, which makes sense because if you didn't hear before, they actually leaked that uh, Swerve and Hangman are going to be main eventing the P the PPV on Saturday. Which actually makes sense. Like it seems like all outs the show that finally gets finally figures it out. This should have been Death Triangle. Absolutely. And Swear brought a house. Yeah, that's the pro that's gonna be a problem. I honestly think Swerve comes out, signs the contract. They wait for Hangman to come out. Doesn't sign. You get a picture of him. They, they go to video of him at uh, Swerve's old house. And uh, Hangman burns it to the ground. Or Hangman, I don't think Hangman needs to attack Nana. He's already done that once. That's why I don't think... Because Nana's not going to be a non-factor in it, right? Because of the cage match. But if they, they do it in the back before... Uh, 
I guess, I guess Nana would come out with Swerve no matter what. So don't think you'd be doing uh, anything else with that, but. Holy crap. So if you guys are checking out Chris Van Vliet's, uh, oh, got to be up at the ass cross game ring. My mom to test tomorrow. So go ahead to bed. All right. You have yourself a good night, Ed. We will see you around. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow while, uh, while you're over at work, while you're working and trying to do that. Swerve, you have homeowners insurance. Uh, I was just looking, uh, if you checked out Chris Van Vliet's YouTube channel, uh, Black Label Pro is holding their, uh, basically like a training slash tryout session live on his channel. And I'm not, a, you can pull up another tab. Don't leave me here. But apparently Mandy Rose is, uh, or Mandy Sachs is, uh, is actually in the ring doing bumps right now. Or was doing it at a time here, so. I love the guy that's standing in, or standing in the front row in between the picture of, uh, of Osprey and Pac, and he's just like screaming holy shit just to save his life there. Oh God, sweep the leg, cut. Oh God, here we go. We're gonna get 25 minutes of that tomorrow or on Saturday. Just think of that folks. Can I, can I just leave that at that? Because yeah, 20, we're gonna get 25 minutes of that craziness. Because you know Osprey's going to want to do everything that uh, he would normally do with Ricochet, right? Like that whole Ricochet match was based on it. You know. But I'll find out my schedule and then I'll do Yeah, that's fine, Jay Quick. I I'm so glad. I'm just glad you got the opportunity to get to work. Because employment is a very important thing. And I do appreciate... I appreciate you hanging out with me all the time here. But if it means you got to go to work and you got to miss the stream... I, I think I can forgive you. Because, you know... That whole, you know, paying for stuff is a very important thing in this world. But yeah, it... This is going to be a very fun month. I will say... I, I have to say that. As much as I was getting frustrated on Monday with uh, the Cami stream we did. Which, uh, yeah, I just I couldn't get out of the blocks at all. And it, you could tell that I haven't played in forever. And right now with the Marvel vs. Capcom collection coming out, we are going to get a lot more into fighting games here. And between that and the wrestling, like... We're going to be having a ton of fun here. And now, Chad, I do have to ask you here. We're, we're going to be done season two, season two of uh, 2K24 uh, the, Saturday, the Saturday night of... Uh, I might even have to book a special stream for that because... That Saturday night is a night of bad blood, and so I don't think anybody's going to want to... Things are going to get moved around for that, probably, so... We're going to be done that weekend, either way. Um, do you guys want to continue on to se Season 3? Or do you want something in between?
because we we do have the ability to take a couple weeks off to reboot and get things together yeah bad blood starts at 4 p.m that night yeah so i almost feel like they might put collision at two o'clock that night i i think collision could be an afternoon show like we're not gonna know until closer to but gonna be honest love watching gm you know what we might just go straight through the only exception I'll throw to that, and here's the caveat I want to throw here. There is a game that I own, and I've streamed it, like, a while ago. I haven't put it on in a while. It's called Retromania Wrestling. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's basically the, uh... The virtual successor to WrestleFest. Hell of a fun game. But it's supposed to be updating with, uh, I believe Demolition is supposed to be one of the newest updates they're getting, but it is an indie, it is an indie game, right? So you can't really, and, and they haven't given us a time frame of when it's done. I would like to get some of that in there, but it might be possible if things are going well for us, and you know, if people are sticking around watching and enjoying it. It is available on PC. I do have it on Steam. Uh, I also... It's one of those games that I enjoyed so much that I actually did purchase it for... Uh, for Switch as well. So... It is one of the few games that I can use... Uh, use my uh, Switch fighting stick for, so... Well, Claudio decided to rip apart Osprey. That's a match I want to see. Who the hell is wearing a Chicago Bears jersey in Milwaukee? Claudio is cranky. Well, you blame him? Jesus! Rocket launcher. I love that move. Old school. Yes, but Milwaukee is more of a Green Bay country, isn't it? In terms of team wise. That's what I'm more thinking about. It's more, you know, it's a Green Bay town. Not that, you know, since Aaron Rodgers has moved on to the Jets, I can actually cheer for uh, Green Bay a little bit more now. I'm still a Bills fan. I always will be. Despite what Stefan Diggs says about the uh, his mental health at the, with the team. I want to see what his mental health is like when he doesn't get passes for three games in a row. It technically is, but it's closer to Chicago than Green Bay. Eh, fair enough. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, geography lessons, so... Cool that they didn't split the BCC too much during this new Mox faction. There might be a possibility that Mox is still with the group. Because you know Mox is one of those guys who'll do his own thing, right? Uh, can we get, like, Osprey versus Claudio, please? Please? Osprey versus Yuta, I would take. Diggs won't catch a cold this year. I'm going to go there. I'm excited for football too. Like I, one thing I've learned is I, they went to commercial during an Osprey chant. Isn't that sacrilegious? We'll, we'll talk a little bit about tomorrow, but the fact that the bills have gotten rid of all the drama, like Jesus, don't say that I got digs on my fantasy team. Try to trade them. 
He's like a six receiver on that team right now. But yeah, it, it's sort of something like, like what I've learned in life here, you know, it's addition by subtraction. Like, nobody knows who the number one receiver is for Buffalo right now. I don't even think... Uh, I don't even think Josh Allen knows who the first receiver is going to be for that team. But they're playing Arizona this week, so... Maybe maybe we can have a free Call of Duty ex exhibit going on in Buffalo that will take care of, uh, you know, certain quarterbacks. First receivers, Josh Allen. No, that's first running back. Keeps throwing the ball to himself the whole time. To be honest, a three-way split for Houston, yeah. Like, I am being facetious, but... If Diggs was worried about not getting... Uh, if Diggs was worried about getting the ball before when he was technically the number one receiver, what's it going to be like when he's the number three? Because honestly, looking at that group, I'm pretty sure he's number three right now. But no, I'm not in any fantasy groups or... I, I, I used to be in a pick'em league for the, uh, the actual... the actual games, not for players. I just didn't have the time to keep up with it, so. Yeah, Coleman has potential, that's true. Forgive me, chat. I just had to get the, uh, get the fluids in you as you go here, right? Well, so much for your tilt-a-whirl there, uh, Orange. Jesus. Can we just say how amazing Claudio is? Like, pulls a jackhammer out of nothing, out of a straight deadlift. Like, I'd really like to see who the strongest person in AEW is now that Mark Henry's gone. Hobbs? Yeah, I, I could see that. Now we got to see who's the strongest in WWE because now the, the technical strongest guy in the company just got fired. If you haven't heard uh, what happened with Odyssey Jones there, absolutely sick and fucking disgusting. If true. Well, this is the point of the match where everybody starts throwing out their finishers. Or they're over the top spots, so. What's he alleged to do? Domestic abuse. So yeah, apparently the reports are domestic abuse and it's been happening for a while. It just, it came up, uh, it just came up about two weeks ago. So that's why the New Day aren't even talking about him at this point. And yeah, the whole Nikki Bella thing too, like na -na 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 -na, hey, 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 goodbye. Yeah, like I, I think I'll be perfectly honest and I'm just gonna Oh god, here we go again. We almost had a replay. All right, let's just throw a random 360 cannonball into uh, Pac and then just kill myself on the carpet after that. I'm going to throw this out here right now. I think Nikki Garcia would have been in AEW already if she didn't have to deal with that drama. Danielson unfold Nikki Bell. Well, I got a feeling that... He's not only
Nope, didn't hit the DT. Now going into the slum dog. Yep. Kick, strike. Hey, Bicard, how you doing today, sir? Oh my god, Claudio's a cyborg. Uh, we're just having some fun watching AEW Dynamite here. Gonna be doing a little WWE 2K GM mode. We just finished beating Zelda last uh, last Thursday. Very anticlimactic, to be perfectly honest. It was a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, just... I was so worried about leveling myself up, and by the time I got to it, it's like, this is it. So we finished with 46% finished. Uh, the videos are up on the uh, gaming channel, the gaming YouTube channel for us. The final stream will be up in its entirety on the 25th. Then I'm going to be doing another video. I'm hoping to do another video and record it maybe this week. Talking about my thoughts of Breath of the, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. There's two different videos I got planned. One, compare the two games and seeing which one you prefer and whatnot and the different reasons to prefer them. And then the uh, other one is talking about the uh, Zelda continuity. Guys, it's been announced that uh, that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are so far off the timeline that they're not considered on the timeline. But I don't want to give too many details, so I leave it at that. I swear by Massey, we got Hangman is in the building. <laughs> Yeah, Jay Quick, we I still say Hangman's not here. If you want to make this a blood feud, have him b burn that house down. Because Swerve ended up going to hang Hangman's place and spying the place out. Wouldn't think Hangman wouldn't do the same thing? Ooh, time to go swinging! Well, Kyle was trying to fight it for the first couple turns, but... That should be it. Finally, the swing gets a victory! The last time the swing got a, uh... Got a victory on anybody. The last time Claudio won with a swing, he won the ROH title. Oh, here come here comes the elite. And Moxie's not here to help. Remember he called uh Perry a cute kid? Kyle's gonna be eating pins until Adam gets back to scoop him up, yeah. Makes me wonder how long until All right, well, that's a good way to get out of this. Proves how much bigger, actually.
Wait, what? Oh. I love this crowd. I love this crowd. The response from this crowd is great. Champions versus champions? No, it ain't gonna happen. Cubs just threw a no hitter? Huh? Eh. They playing the Shy Sox? Oh, the Pirates. Well, we got mutes again. And Jack's like, what the hell did I get myself into here? But yeah, we still got one more segment left, so we are going to be running over again as usual. Oh, they're mine. Pac and Osprey just said the hell that lets us go now. Brain Buster. Oh, God. This is an excuse to get that title on Pac. I don't think these trios titles are going to be on Pac and the BCC for all that long. I, I think the intention was to get the international title back on Pac. It's just taking a long way to get there. Wow, this graphic happened to hurt quickly. That'll be a fun match. Like I said, I don't think any of us expect the titles to change, but it'll be a fun match. So yeah, we're getting this match on... S That's got to be the main event. They're trying to say it's loaded, but. All right, well, AEW's decided they're going to load up their show. I'm going to have to watch it after I get home. Let me throw a snooze on here so that no dance tonight, guys. I'm sorry to disappoint, but you know, I, I was too busy celebrating his house. That and the fact my shirt disappears half the time when I put my arm up.
So if you guys are wondering, I use the Elgato uh, virtual cam. That's why this can happen rather easily. The Bucks are actually working a Saturday. <laughs> I appreciate you, Jay Quick. I appreciate everybody here. Yeah, I got a feeling Hangman's not showing up here. Hangman is torching a house right now. You do this, that way you can de definitely solidify who's a face and who's a heel. Because even the fact that Swerve said that he was stalking Hangman again... Watch this, he's not coming out. See? Nope, here we go. <sighs> well, it was your childhood house, Swerve. They're going to try and do this. He's not here. We haven't seen Hangman since Swerve 8 miled him, yeah. Yep, there it is. You notice they're not showing his hands, right? Even Swerve knows what's happening here. Yeah, here it is. That's evil. Yep, there's the gas can. Yep, that's why he's tearing up the ring.
Crime counter is going to go through the roof. You know what's you know what's rich when Tony Khan will buy a house just for the hell of it? Man, Swerve's selling this well. This is awesome. Hey, Snow Penguin. We're just watching Dynamite here. We got to a very important part of the main event. Damn. Swerve knowing what's happening here. That's that's the all-time winner here. Wow. That house went up rather quick. This, this, to say the least, is going to be freaking emotional. And this is how you close out to a pay-per-view. People, anybody who says there's no stories in AEW? Bet it's on a green. I don't care what it's on. I, I That's how you sell pay-per-views. If you want to sell a blood feud, that's how you sell a blood feud. Like, now that we've added a couple more matches to, uh, oh, it's absolutely great what they did here. They, they turned this match. That's why this is going to be the main event. It could also, also justify why it would open the show because it can't keep these guys apart. You also got a new tag team title match uh, set up with the BCC taking on the elite, which might indirectly lead to, uh, you know, certain returns and whatnot as we get things going. We got a little teaser once again of uh, Moxley wanting to talk to Darby. I think someone could get hurt in that match. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, hit. All, all I can say is Saturday is going to be a lot of fun with us here. Uh, it is going to be a... Well, and also we found out that Okada is going to be taking on three opponents. And we're probably getting Takesh, Takeshita and Okada in the, in the ring at the same time. Which is going to be a teaser for when we get to deal with it long term. All in all, just... For, for as much as... Oh, Garcia bled to open the show. You opened with a promo, you closed with a promo, and both promos had a lot of feeling to them. Yes, you had MJF go long, which is normal, but... Yeah, the, the show's ready to go. Like, Saturday is set. 
We are going to have a ton of fun. It is going to be a great card. And this tonight just proved it. Just when, when you have cards like this, you had two women's matches on the card. Plus you had Mercedes out there talking with Sheeta. You had Sheeta showing off the new merch. You got, yeah, a whole bunch of, uh, you got a whole bunch of great stuff going on tonight. And it, I, I think it's going to make Sat saturday feel really worthwhile the card is a little bit more defined than it was last year at this time mainly because we're not dealing with anybody uh we're, we're not going to be able to we're not dealing with anybody in any drama there at the end so i think you're right swerve and hangman may not be able to wait i think they're going to make them even if they got to lock them in rooms until then but whichever 